Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock it with the best. You heard? So, out here in Lowe's in Chicago right now, looking at some flooring. And uh, I just wanted to take this time out. You know, when s- certain things come to you, you have to get it out, right? You got to get it out. Shout out to uh, University of Iowa, go Hawkeyes, right? But, um,. I want to take this time out to say you got to be committed, man. You have to be committed to whatever you do. A lot of times <clears throat> we distract ourselves. We come up with all kind of extracurricular activities that will distract us from being committed to one goal and one goal, goal only. Now, some people will diversify and do all this other stuff, but you never fully immerse yourself in the project that you're trying to do. Now, one of the things that I have done, and I'll share this little quick story with you guys. I was, a lot of you guys know I was uh, driving a truck for a long time, right? So, I am a bona fide, hardcore, aggressive, assertive salesperson, hands down. That's what I do. Like, I bring in numbers. I put numbers on the board, right? So, What happened was, I got burnt out, and I went into the sales career. I mean, I'm sorry, the trucking career, and I removed myself. When I removed myself from the sales platform, I, you know, I lost my momentum. I'll be, I'll keep it a, a, a hundred with you guys. I lost my momentum. So now, with me getting back into the sales. Uh, thing I have to generate that momentum all over again and which is it's not difficult but it's it's a little bit difficult what's up Arnold so it's when you remove yourself from a situation you lose that momentum so when you stay committed to something you build up momentum it gets easier for you you become more skillful at it you become more hungry you your skills begin to outweigh your fears. So now that I'm back into the sales uh, arena, and this time I'm doing it for myself and uh, other companies that I'm helping out, I seen that, wow, I've been out of the game for a minute, right? So I'm building up my momentum. So when I say I'm a humble hip hop sales coach, I'm humble to the fact that when I'm teaching somebody how to do sales, it is, to be able to stand back and teach them correctly and coach them correctly. Other than that, I'm aggressive as fuck behind uh, the sales thing. You know, uh, it was, I remember doing uh, selling windows. It was me and two other guys, JP and Tony. I promise you, man, we were closing down other companies because we did not play any games. We sold <clears throat> so many windows we were companies were forced to shut down their doors that's how aggressive we are you know so what i want to share with you guys is that fully immerse yourself in whatever project you got if you have a project and you want to complete it give it all you got put all of it in put all your energy all your time into that project Because once you build that momentum, momentum is the hardest thing that you would have to sustain. It's not being motivated. It's keeping that momentum going up. Motivation is like water in the palm of your hand, right? It it, it eventually evaporates or it's going to go through your fingers. So motivation, you can always try to find that. But the momentum that you get, that comes from time. That comes from practice. That comes from you doing drills with yourself. Let's say you're a cold caller. Or, you know, you're doing telemarketing. And the first, you know, first couple of times you get on the phone, it's going to be a little bit, you know, rough. You're, you're going to stumble on your words. You're going to um, make some mistakes. You're going to have some fear, apprehension to call these people. So, but after you get to like maybe your 50th call or after a couple of days of you making 100 phone calls per day, dude, you're going to be a pro at it. You're going to build that momentum. Now your skill level will exceed your fear. And now you're just, you're making so many phone calls. 
and you have such a high expectation for yourself that you are going to blow that shit out of the water. You understand what I'm saying? So whatever you're doing, whether you're writing a book, whether you are uh, going into real estate, or you're going to... Um, whatever you decide to do, fully immerse yourself. Be committed to it. Be committed. You know? I, I, I put myself out there. Here's what I do that a lot of people don't do on Facebook, right? I put my phone number out there. My phone number is 312-999-8117. You guys call me anytime because I want to answer your sales questions. I want you guys to ask me, what are you struggling with sales? Because I want to be involved again. I want to be so committed to that where I'm helping the person's company out. They're like, oh, shit, dude. Oh shit, thanks for the tip that you gave me. I got my sales numbers up. I'm a better entrepreneur because I applied these sales tactics. 312-999-8117. Ask me any sales questions you want. I may even make a video about it, you know, or drop me a comment about a sales question. Somebody else might see that question and they might have been struggling with it. And <clears throat> we'll we'll just, you know, kill two birds with one stone. So I just say Stay committed, stay hungry, be aggressive. The meek does not inherit the world. No disrespect to the Holy Bible. No disrespect to the Holy Bible. But the meek will not inherit the world, man. The aggressive will. The meek is going to eat the crumbs of the aggressive. They're only going to eat what we leave them on the table you dig so one love to y'all peace love and happiness enjoy your father's day tomorrow you know if you're a father you know stepfathers all that happy father's day to you guys and you know peace love and happiness to you and your family peace